Why do you think there isn't more diversity in late night television? What do you mean? James Corden is British white guy. I love James Corden. He's so different, you know? Uh, he's known for the carpool karaoke. He got the idea when he found out that he was fat enough to legally drive alone in the HOV lane. <laughs> You can't predict him. He's unpredictable. You never know what trivial thing he's going to get way too excited about. James Corden constantly defies expectations, like the idea that British people are good at comedy. He defies it. In terms of diversity, it is a problem. You know, the closest thing we have to a non-white person telling jokes on a network is Michael Che on Weekend Update. But unfortunately, it's offset by the fact that his co-host looks like a Kennedy dipped in bleach. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could say there's not enough diversity among hosts. People say there are three people named Jimmy or James, but those, all three are different. Jimmy Fallon is in shape. James Corden is fat. And Kimmel used to be fat, but is now in shape. Very diverse. You have to understand, though, with late night comedy, with all the streaming and the cord cutting and the kiddies watching the YouTube tubing, none of this is going to be around in 20 years anyway, because the Chinese will have enslaved us. <laughs> anyway, regardless of all of it, right now in late night, I guess Colbert is the big enchilada, which explains why James Corden wants to eat Stephen Colbert. It's been an honor talking to you. Uh, pontificating, bloviating, ruminating, and defecating. Honestly, Television Academy is uh, one of the greatest institutions uh, in American entertainment. <coughs> Excuse me. For me to poop on. <laughs>